What's up, Juan? Looking at me, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, uh, buddy Nabil. So it is this one, right? Because yeah. you here, this one it's fine. Yeah. So this is the one you have a hard time. With. Only when I do the hand on the hip, I can't. Yeah. Bundle lock over here. Yeah, you see that? That's better. So pull it out a little more. There. That's a lot, bro. So now, do you feel like you get it smaller? And Going on guys we are two days out from the show it's 8 a.m the adrenaline's pumping the end is near we fly out to omaha today at 2 20. woke up really early i had 6.5 ounces of beef and sweet potato which is a weird breakfast but then i went to go pose at seven o'clock with my buddy juan who's an ifbb pro and he's an amazing poser but it's like I didn't want to do too many changes and kind of psych myself out and get in my head and try to change everything up that I've already had uh, like two days out from the show. So we kind of just looked at what I already had, my routine, and did slight little tweaks. So if I could say two things I pulled, I took away from that session was that as I'm going from like my front to my back and like transitioning back and forth, I want to kind of keep my arms, I'm going to do the cross thing instead of just like swinging them out. It looks more natural and it's a little more fluid. And the second thing was to actually practice my, my front relaxed pose or my I guess my front comparison pose, the pose that I hate so much that I think I look like crap in it, but he's is pretty much saying that that's what they're gonna want, and so I can't avoid practicing it. So those are the two things I took away. It's really productive, and now we're here at the gym. We're about to hit my last push workout of this whole prep, which is crazy, bro. Can you believe it? No. Wow. If you're wondering why I look like a hood rat, <laughs> it's because I'm really, really cold and I'm trying to stay warm. I'm gonna try to stay warm the next few days. So I have my high socks, I'm wearing leggings, got my shorts, I've got a stringer, I've got my sleeveless hoodie, I've got a beanie on to stay warm because literally I'm just like cold all day. Um, like shivering in bed. I know the gym's gonna be freezing cold to me at least. And yeah, staying warm, we're about to take a pre and hit this last push workout. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Two things I'm doing while I'm here working out. Increasing the temperature and turning off this fan. I'll turn it back when I'm done. You gotta see one. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, FedEx. I was supposed to have this package delivered yesterday, but FedEx ended up holding it. But it came just in time because these aren't my board shorts. Oh, they are, they are, they are. They are, they are, they are. Just kidding, just kidding. Oh. Okay, so I got my board shorts in for the show. Uh, I got size small, so I had all the mediums, but I'm not a medium anymore, I'm a small. So I had to get smalls rushed over to me so we don't have the bulk order. I've got the white pair, I've got pink, and I've got blue. And I got two pairs of each just in case. So I'm taking six pairs. I don't know what color I'm gonna wear yet, but yeah. Very happy these came in on time. Board shorts are dropping on the 23rd, but if you're competing at the Summer Shirting Classic, we're gonna have them for sale at the athlete meeting the night before on Thursday. I only got three hours of sleep last night. Cool. Not the best situation. Gotta make I'm so excited, man. I'm like so, so, so excited right now. 
and I get minimum 300 grams of carbs today. Maybe even more. Like, what else could you want in life? You know? I feel really skinny today, by the way. I feel like I look frail, but that's how you're supposed to look. Big week. Bring me to life! Oh. It hit me today that this is the last workout that is gonna happen throughout the summer shredding series where I'm dieting down and like, chasing this conditioning. This is the first prep that I've ever done in this location, in this building. This is the first prep I've ever done with Nabil. And it's just been such a crazy journey and I can't believe like I just wrapped up the last workout. You know, it's, I don't know, I guess the best way to describe how I'm feeling right now is euphoric in a way. Just looking around at, I don't know, throughout the workout I was just thinking about how much everything has grown over the last few years. Just three years ago we were in a 900 square foot warehouse gym with the blue wall that I painted proud and are satisfied on and then like we've moved locations three different times and now we're in this near 20,000 square foot facility. Guys, look what we built man. Look at that. Look what we built man. We have built. Successful gym, the channel's been blowing up, people are getting impacted and I'm just doing what I love, man, on a daily basis. I'm so blessed to like do what I enjoy every single, I wake up excited every day and I don't take it for granted. I never will take it for granted. And I promise you guys to continue pushing myself in everything that, that I do and just document everything and hopefully being able to provide value for you guys and or just entertainment. And it's, I don't know, man, I just feel, I'm damn proud. I think that I really came a long way this prep, this series. Uh, it was honestly very, difficult because I brought my A-game the last few years. I got shredded the last few years and so for me to, in order to be, to beat that, it required a lot of work. It required a lot, a lot of fighting my low energy days, my low energy times and moments and becoming really mentally strong and I'm just damn proud of this prep. I think I came a really long way and I hope you guys are proud of yourselves too. I hope you left it on the table and if you didn't, do the best you can, wrap it up strong, and the next journey that you do, you try to get better every time. Everyone has slip ups, man. I had slip ups. I had cheat meals. I, I, I binged, but at the end of the day, you become better and better and more disciplined over time. And just be hard on yourself. Enjoy the process, even though it might suck. I think dieting is the hardest thing to enjoy because you actually feel like crap, but embrace it and watch your life unfold, man. Cool. I'm sick and tired of living in LA Where the sun is out but there's so much shame This house is an absolute disaster right now. Complete mess. Ava got into the trash, just threw it all over the like, Making some turkey bacon. This is my main priority right now. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Chicken, you can buy it. Eat Four egg whites, two turkey bacons. See, there's grams that are stuck on the pan, so now I'm inaccurate. I'm in a good mood today because I'm like, Done. Like, I'm done. Oh man, my oatmeal spilled. <laughs> I have to reweigh that. Dang it. Okay, so um, we had a lot of requests to take out the front seam of our revivals. You know that line that goes like down here? And so we're testing it. If I look down, I can just see the contour Let of me see where. It of it, it's almost like the. Oh. It's just. Wait, the is, there a, is there a. I think we're gonna leave our. I think we're gonna leave our scene. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad either. I'm standing. Do you see how I'm standing? I'm gonna stand straight for Heidi. Some of the women stuff I can't look at because, you know, I think we need to keep our front seam because in theory it sounds good without one, but like it actually I think draws more attention to the area, doesn't it? Because it's like it's there's nothing obstructing your view. Yeah, just want to let you guys know that we tried. And we're, we're listening to the feedback and trying. 
Yeah, it looks weird. I definitely shoot packing and stuff right now because we leave in like 30 minutes. Haven't packed the thing yet. Oh, wow. Here you go. <laughs> we Gucci. Just kidding, guys. I'm actually not competing. Uh, it was all just, I just made it up. So I got super shredded. This is the conclusion of super shredding. Okay, I think we got everything. Probably not, but it's all good. As the world begins to move around you at its pace. Here they are, uh, the last one number one. What up, what up, what up? It's just me here checking in with the little camera. I'm gonna make it a point over the next few days throughout the show to just vlog like this, old school style. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy this. We're actually at the airport early, which is really nice. Just trying to avoid stress for the show. I wish I could have some Wendy's, but that's not gonna happen. I actually brought something for myself and I'm very excited to have it. I've got two cups of white rice with eight ounces, oh, sorry guys, with eight ounces of 96 four ground beef. If you guys know me, you know I always try to eat a decent sized meal before getting on the plane, because if I time it right, everything will just hit me at once, I'll fall asleep on the plane, and uh, hopefully catch up on some sleep, because I only said like three hours, not even three hours last night. How are you feeling, Heidi? Oh my gosh, this sandwich is so good, man. This is so is this, is this, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Why is my, oh, there we go. There you go. I love chicken and beef. So good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard United Express, operated by Mesa Airlines, a member of the Fast and Furious family. Please remain seated until the seatbelt Welcome to Omaha. The local time is 412. It will be taxi. Uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, you know what's over here? Nebraska. We're in Nebraska. That's right. I'm trying not to need you like you need me. We're in the middle of the country. Never been here before. I don't know what's here, but this is the closest show that I could find on June 9th. So. We here. Apparently it's a big show too. It's a pro show. Guys, look at all these cool sample bags. Look, check it out, check it out. You got Nabil with the white. You got Heidi with the black. And then you got this red gym bag we got coming out. We're about to go in a taxi to our Airbnb. Let's check it out. Omaha. It's called a sick transition. Omaha. Can we insert this, uh, this story of Heidi freaking out right now? Yeah. No sleeping at, at all. We played Scrabble. So, yeah. You like hills and yoga. I like hanging over. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. So our uh, Airbnb is right above an Urban Outfitters, like downtown. And like the big stadium's right there. This is pretty cool. This is a really cool area. Oh, wow, I'm so rude. I just completely walked out of the taxi, started getting the bags. I'm like, I guess Heidi's paying. <laughs> Thanks, Heidi. What? Thanks for paying. Oh. Such a gentleman, man. I'm the man. <laughs> I am the man. There's a lockbox on the stairwell. Okay. So any of like Airbnb stuff or like stuff where you have to, that's Heidi's job. I just hold the bags. Welcome to our Omaha crib for the next two days. I'm sick and tired of living in LA. Where the sun is out but there's so much shame. I need a place to go with the seasons. And no one out has a reason to be cold. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> to our apartment. I haven't 
vlogged on one of these in so long. I feel this is so much more personal. Right up in here. The closer you are when you're vlogging, the more personal the vlog is. Did you know that? I'm literally cold right now. She's sweating, which is so weird. It just never happens. Sir, do you have any AC? Oh, look at that. Burger Theory. I didn't tell the vlog yesterday, but I finished the macros off at 5.30 p.m. yesterday, and I went to bed at 3.30, so, and then I only slept two and a half hours. Um, I feel like it just hit me, and I feel like an absolute Two more days. Two more days. One more day, really. One more day. Help me out, help me out. Dude, I didn't know Steve Cook made the cover of this ad. Does it look like him? <laughs> wow. Like a less fit version? Yeah. Less good looking version? <laughs> See, you should be on it, bro. We're here for two days. I got something from Subway. Apples. Nine carbs, zero fat. <laughs> no water. I've already drank two gallons of water today. Currently waiting for our Uber to come pick us up from Walmart. Yep. Vibes, dude. Summer Shine 2018. Vibes. Sitting outside of Walmart eating some apples from Subway. Wait, Christian. <laughs> Are you guys live streaming this? Or? Made it back from the grocery store. I'm going to show you everything I got. Today, my carbs are minimum 300. I'm probably gonna finish off at about 330. Tomorrow, I have about 500 grams of carbs to hit. And then we have Saturday. So this is three days worth of food. I got some oatmeal. I got peanut butter. I try to keep it like the same brands that I normally get um, when I'm back home. I've got some Pam spray. I got my caramel rice cakes. I like the caramel ones because they have zero fat. Uh, most of the other flavors have like one or two grams of fat. I've got some of this swirl bread, higher in carb, lower in fiber. I don't want to have a lot of fiber tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, I got a lot of these basmati rices. I got a ton, like I think six packs of the Alaskan cod. This is going to be my main protein source uh, for today for the whole weekend. Essentially very light, minimal fat, and yeah, straight up protein. I got pink salt, lemon pepper, ground cinnamon. They already have pepper, like normal pepper here. I got some chicken, in case if you want some chicken, or if you want some chicken. Sweet potatoes for another one of my main carb sources. Some lemons for the fish, asparagus, and some of these potatoes, which sound really good. And I just got a fruit jelly jam to put on that toast. And I got two Snickers bars and two Reese's things. Not for like the before show, but these are actually possibly gonna be used when I'm backstage before I actually step on, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes before if I'm having trouble getting a pump or anything. This will be like a quick kind of thing. Pre-cardio meal, I have some potatoes with egg whites and one slice of the bread with some strawberry jam. <sighs> guys, 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 guys. Heidi and I just got to Iron Heaven. This is a gym about 20, 25 minutes away from the Airbnb. And today is my last cardio session of this prep. I may do a little bit tomorrow, like 10 to 20 minutes tomorrow maybe, but I can't believe it. I, I just, I cannot believe it. I already lifted this morning. I'm coming in. I'm gonna sweat off the bloat from the plane. I got my hoodie on. I've got my, my shorts, my leggings on, my socks. I've gone so ham on the cardio this prep that I haven't taken an off day from Stairmaster in over four to five weeks. And I do like 40 to 45 minutes a day, sometimes more, because I really had to dig. So I'm very excited not have to do that anymore. Let's go check the gym out. And thank you, Iron Heaven, for uh, being cool with us filming in here. As much as the scale is tempting me to step on it right now, I'm not gonna do it. Trust me out, I've already put in all the work. I look good. I'm not gonna let that number mess with my head. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm going straight to the back. This is a sick gym, by the way. You see this? A lot of good equipment. This is definitely where we're gonna come tomorrow to get a session in, my final session of the prep. This is gonna be my corner for the next 45 minutes or so. I might see how I feel, but probably 45 just because I did have a flight today and definitely a little bit bloated. So that's the game plan. Let's get going. I did one full hour. I want to stop at 45. I'm so proud, man. So good. And uh, that's a lot.
lot of Stairmaster. A lot, lot of Stairmaster. And we're done. Wow. About to clean this off. And look who I had next to me and uh, kind of helped push me through the last 30 minutes. Just met him, came up, said what's up. He said he had 30 minutes left, I had 30 minutes left. So I was kind of mentally battling for the last 30 minutes, you know? And uh, we healed it. Good 30 minutes? <laughs> Fancy schmancy apartment condo thing, which is super sick, doesn't have a microwave. Therefore, I am cooking one cup of rolled oats here on the stove to finish off my carbs for the day. Uh, I had some asparagus, where I also had six ounces of the best chicken I think I've ever cooked. I don't know, it was amazing. Maybe I was just like in peak week. I'm gonna be right at 325 grams. Which is right where I want to be, because tomorrow we're gonna to have a really high carb day. Yeah. Good morning, welcome to day two of the vlog. I'm here heating up some rice. And Nabil just woke up, he came down and said I look crazy, so I'm gonna show you how I look right now. I this is pretty nuts, so the forearms feeling full, my veins feel thick. Uh, so here I am after 330 to 340 grams of carbs. Today I have 500. So even though it's 845, I'm having white rice. And I actually woke up instinctively at like 545. And I wanted to start getting my carbs in. I'm supposed to be hitting 500 today, and so I, I want to space that really nice. So I had five caramel rice cakes. I had two chocolate rice cakes. So I've already got a good amount of carbs, and maybe that's why I look kind of crazy. And yeah, now I'll show you my second meal of the day. Four ounces of chicken, one packet of Uncle Ben's basmati, and a serving of asparagus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a good day, man. Oh, I'm so cold. This blanket is so nice, though. We gotta go get tanned. We gotta go check in. We gotta go work out. We gotta go do cardio. cardio. We gotta go do some. It's gonna be a fun, busy day. I don't know if I wanna make this a, its own video or if I'll just combine two days out, one day's out. But regardless, if you're watching this clip and you're enjoying the video, you can go get a thumbs up. I appreciate it. My body would appreciate it the hell I've been putting it through. It would, just do it, for my, do it for my body. Do it for my little legs right now, right? My little legs I can't feel, and I, I don't think I could do another, I did an hour of Stairmaster, bro. Yeah, I did. How did you turn this fan off? Is that anything right there? Oh, <laughs> what up? <laughs> but I try, try not to need you, like you need me. And I try, and I try not to need you, like you need I'm trying to get a hold of Protan. I'm competing at that show that they have. I, I can't get a hold of Protan anywhere. Are, are they there at the hotel today? Uh, yes, they are in the Herndon room on the second floor. Uh, is there a phone number or anything, or? Uh, no, it's just like an event. Okay. Uh, do you know if they're there already, or what time they get there? Yep, they've been here since 9 a.m. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I, like I said, I don't know what time she's actually going to be here. She landed about 10 minutes ago. Um, Do you have to wait three or four hours? I don't make so. this schedule, so I have no idea what that, what the schedule looks like. Um, I have no idea. Okay. Um, Is there a way to call and check? There's not. It's literally with the girl who's on, who just landed. It's a pay for one. Come all the way over here. Don't even have a time. Like, paid a hundred and plus dollars for his tan and they don't even tell you what time you have to come. The lady just landed with the paper schedules. She's not gonna reach out to the competitors, so I guess we have to come back later and just 
come back here to find out what time to come back later. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I haven't had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in so long. I'm using two slices of this French toast swirl bread. One serving of real grape jelly that this Airbnb had. And a serving of peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Cod's done. Not that I hate cod, but it is the lightest on my stomach. Prevents me from bloating. I'll switch to fish the last few days. So much fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy smell. Fish juice. Just think about <laughs> that. Thank you, sir. Ah, I'm more than happy to, guys. How's it going? Same to you. And Bill and I are about to get our... I don't think we ever... We don't ever take pictures together, bro. We're gonna take a picture right now. Because we're about to film the last workout of this whole prep. Feels, man. Need help? No. <laughs> Heidi's camera is like half a body weight. We're about to go into the gym, do our warm up, our workout, posing practice, and cardio. So I'm still taking my supplements. I've got a scoop of pre and a scoop of BCAs in here. And now it's time to show you all my secret weapon. This is Ghost's first ever pump product. And I am so, this came in like at the absolute perfect time. It is vegan friendly. There's no proprietary blends. You have four grams of L-citrulline, 2.5 grams of arginine nitrate. You have 1.5 grams of glycer pump, which is a pretty much enhanced, more stable version of hydro pump, AKA there's no clumping in this. This comes out to 29.59 after the use of my code. So I think this drops next Thursday, if you're watching this video, this coming Thursday. So we've got 330 carbs from yesterday. I'm already at 260 carbs today. Been drinking a ton of water. I've got the new pump product. I got my pre, I've got my BCAs. I've got a, a water. I'm about to be freaking pumped. Okay, so real quick outline of the workout. I kind of broke down already, but we're gonna do five to 10 minutes of a warm up. This gym is colder than Alphalete Gym and it's not a warehouse gym. So I wanna actually build up a little bit of a sweat. I'll show you what I do. And after I get that sweat kind of going, my heart rate up, then I'm gonna jump into my workout. It's gonna be an upper body. So I'm just gonna pick like one to two movements for muscle group. Really, I'm not gonna go to failure at all. I'm not gonna get close. I just wanna get a pump and everything, upper body and that's gonna be the workout. Probably 30, 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna practice posing like a lot. And then we have no more than 15 minutes of cardio. Let's fucking smash this. This is the last, oh my gosh, the last workout, bro. For my warm up, I'm doing 10 minutes on the incline treadmill. It's really cold in here. Or at least I feel really cold. So 10 minutes, 10 incline, and three and a half speed is what I'm doing while I'm sipping on this. This is so surreal. What's your name, bro? Noah. No, it's a pleasure, man. Nice to you. Oh my gosh. This is your normal gym or what? Yeah. Nice. Nice spot. Thanks. Yeah. Oh my God. We're starting off with a lat pull down on every movement. I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna do about four sets, roughly 15-ish reps. I'm trying to stay sort of in that range, not getting close to failure. Just really trying to contract every muscle on every exercise that I'm doing. Feel a good contraction and low rest time, maybe like 30, 40 seconds in between sets. It feels like my coach, bro. Like every day I'm like, they're, they're like bloated. How do I look? Are my veins hopping? My like, friend, like, he gets into it, man. He goes, Did you have your oatmeal this morning? You're looking a little flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Iron Heaven Gym here in Omaha for letting this film. Shout out to my boy Max, ever forward for the leggings. Shout out to Adam Beal for doing all these freaking videos. Shout out to Heidi for putting up with my. Bitchin' ass. Uh, Becca. Ashley. Doing some shredding of with me. Joe. Uh, parents. Uh, Nala. Uh, Ooh. Ryan uh, Charlie. Daniel. Uh, squeeze. Uh. As long as I can stay warm tomorrow, I'll be good. I'm gonna wear socks all day. I'm gonna keep my beanie on all day. I'm gonna put a hoodie on and just stay warm. You do it with my tan, like, I don't care if I have my tan on, I need to stay warm. So my veins come out to play, because if I'm cold, and my veins are that thin, it's impossible for me to get pumped. I have to be warm. Oh. 
Oh, it feels so good. I've got everything nailed down in my head, step by step by step. So first is the posing routine, right? Our individual posing routine, you have about 12 to 15 seconds or so on stage. So I'm gonna hit three poses. I'm gonna hit my hand on hip, and then I'm gonna turn around and hit my back pose. Now when I come back around, I'm gonna do the no hand on hip, so I can flare both the lats. So that's an individual. Key points as I'm thinking, I'm walking up stage, so the judge is already looking at you before you actually go up stage. So everything is tight, all right? So I'm gonna go like this. Exhale all the air out of my stomach. You wave, see the obliques, smile. See you coming to the first one. Boom. Now here I'm focused, I'm getting my arm tight. I'm not flexing this chest, so I'm trying to get this flat out. And then I'm gonna turn around. Slight squeeze. Come out. Hands are relaxed. Now I'm going to come back around. This little cross right here. Here. Again, if you're lifting both hands up to say goodbye, thank you. While flexing your stance tight. I'm trying to really show my obliques because that's like, that is my leanness. My, my, my readiness level, my leanness is my strongest point. I'm not going to be the biggest guy. I'm not going to like be the widest or anything, so I just really need to showcase the shreds. And for me, that showcase, showcase how low my obliques go. So here it is, fluid. What I noticed is I'm trying not to, after here, I'm trying not to swing my arm like this. I'm trying to actually go, like, stay more in my space that's more fluid and natural looking. To here. To here. And then back. That's all you Sick. Sick. It's the last cardio session, bro. For this whole thing. It's only like 10, 15 minutes. Oh man, we're done. Bro. We're done. We're done. Oh, I'm hungry right now. Chick fil A cookie sounds amazing. Bro, I can't have one. Too much fat. We made it back to the Airbnb. I've got another packet of white rice here, basmati with eight ounces of cod that we cooked up. I just put it in the oven with some lemon pepper and salt. And this is gonna be my next meal for the day. You ready to go to Urban Outfitters? <laughs> uh, I have 400 carbs right now, okay. doing good. Um, I guess you'll see how the pump product works later, huh? How do you give a review in uh, the next video? I will not give a review in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go eat after the show. Amazing. You know what I want? I just want some keepers. I'm gonna go get my tan tonight. I don't want to ruin, not that I don't want to ruin these athlete sweaters, these are one of one samples, you know what I mean? But I want something that's like 
bigger and baggier because this is kind of fitted. We're in a large right now. So I want something super, I'm probably like a double XL hoodie, like a zip hoodie. I'm not gonna wear a shirt, I'm just gonna wear a super big hoodie that I don't care about, I can throw away. And I'll probably try to find some baggy pants or something too. Or not have shorts, I'll just do shorts and my flip flops. But also I kinda need something to sleep in tonight because I don't want to ruin the Airbnb's sheets. So maybe I'll buy some baggy pants, or I can just wear outfit ones for that. Some socks and just like try not to get on the sheets, you know? And if I do, I'll buy, I'll buy new ones for them. Hey, don't give I'll me buy. Alex Cambridge. Oh no, you're good, great. When I was 19, I would go into Zara, I would go into Urban Outfitters, I would go into H&M, and I would literally eat this exact shirt. They still sell it, six years later, all right? This is a scoop neck, 34 US dollars, all right? The thing with these, I would buy every color, and then they would rip, they would shrink a ton, they wouldn't last, they look like crap, and I kept going back to Zara, to these fast fashion stores to buy more. With, and with that, look at this hoodie, look at this hoodie, okay? This is 100% cotton, okay, 100% cotton. This literally cost about four bucks to make. We're selling it for 60. 60 dollars. My mission for starting off was to make quality, quality, custom stuff, tailored, stuff that could last a long time, that could be beat up in the wash, and that could actually fit the body and show like a, a showcase your physique, right? And like provide quality material for cheaper than like all this stuff, which is so stupid. And like that's my mission, so it pisses me off people say that Alfie's like so expensive and all this stuff. Like it, it's dude. We gotta spend sixty dollars on a hoodie. So I'd rather not ruin mine, my sick one, with like all this expensive custom technology, custom fit, 3D rubber. Yeah, so that's why I am motivated to do some. Good, okay, Ashley. What are y'all doing in Omaha? <laughs> Becky and Ashley are here to support. <laughs> Look how spent that scoop net, hundred percent cotton, thirty-four dollars. Yeah, and after two washes, it has like holes wash. in it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Becca. I like to call this color though. It's hurting myself. I should have. I'm buying a $60 cotton hoodie because I need something oversized. It's not tight on me. How you know she's real? <laughs> <laughs> I just shaved his back. As I'm shaving my legs. This is goals, bro. If your girl don't do this for you. I'm a hairy guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. He owes me the best date ever after this. I'm happy, man. I'm chilling. Like, I'm relaxed. No stress. I don't even have a tanning appointment booked yet. Whatever. The Cavs are playing game four tonight at eight. I feel like I shouldn't watch the game because I'm not supposed to be stressed out right now. And I don't want to be upset or lose. I don't know. I believe I will win one. I think we'll win tonight. This is gonna put me like right at 420 carb. Yeah, 420. To clarify, if you're competing at the actual show, your video and photo are due on June 11. If you're competing in the online competition to win the $50,000, then we're gonna announce an email address on June 16th, and then you're gonna send your videos to that email address. Stay tuned. I'm looking at Joe's, oh, look at Joe's story. Aww. Why is playing with Ava for once? <laughs> Me. Yeah. About to go get tanned up and all that. Most people would be like freaking out that I'm drinking water right now. But two gallons in today. Hi. Hi. Uh, I came by, I already got bought my thing and everything, but I came by earlier to see my time and no one was here yet. Um, What's your name? Christian Guzman. Oh, you missed it. Um, let's see. I mean, I was here at 12 and no one was, they still didn't know what time. Yeah, we didn't start until 1.30. We have boys coming in. Go ahead and look up your name there. Mm -hmm. At 815, 830. 815, 830. Okay, perfect. Hi, yeah, yeah, of course. Wow. That was How are you, man? We just, we just seen your post yesterday and we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last minute, man. How are you guys? Fantastic. Yeah? I watched your, uh, your video earlier at work and shit. Uh -huh. uh, I'm doing physique. NPC card. No, I don't. All right, uh, let's start there. Perfect. There and also, uh, I was told that I could get an NPC card for him so he could film for like a video pass. We can't allow any other video. It's, it's, it's good yeah. 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 How much? Five eleven? It's gonna be your number. It goes perfect. on your left hip tomorrow. Okay. okay. So there's a meeting at 7:30 tomorrow morning in front of the stage. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Number 424. All right. So I need to go make some calls to get access to film because I was I was under the impression we had access to film. Apparently we don't. 
Sorry, make some calls. Uh -huh. so let me try to work some deals and see what I can do, and I'll get back to you. Cool. And honestly, Jen, if if it causes any stress or anything, no worries at all. I can just. No, it, it won't. It won't. It won't. I, I'm, I'm good. Update. It's 8 p.m. I'm about to go sit in the tanning area. They told me to come back at 8, and they'll try to squeeze me in at some point. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm already checked in. I bought an appeal a backstage pass, so he can come backstage with me. But if they see a camera, they're gonna confiscate it. So. Yeah, I just bought it anyway, so you can kind of make it work. We'll make something work, man. We'll make something work. Walking in the same direction. You can shoot in the audience with whatever camera you have. If you had done a Texas show, I could go. So we got denied access to film anything backstage, but we did get access to film from the crowd. So Nabil will be in the crowd. He can use the camera and like record that. So we Gucci. Yeah, all tanned up. Honestly, it's not, I don't think it's that bad. It, what's nice is they didn't do my face tonight. I'm gonna do that in the morning. 6.15, I have a tan tomorrow morning. In the morning. Wow, you're like a Greek god. I feel like the skinniest one in there, for sure. No, no for a hundred, no, like, actually. For the last meal of the day, I have eight ounces of cod. I've got two cups of basmati rice, and that's gonna put me right at 500 carb, 190 protein, and like 55 grams of fat for the day. So, I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, I could maybe potentially push carbs a little bit more, maybe like some more rice cakes and put like 520, 530, but honestly, I just don't even wanna, I feel like 500 is the most I've had in a very long time. I don't wanna spill over, and I'm gonna start eating very early tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I'll be good with this. And that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. One day out, I'm all tanned up. Um, I have another coat in the morning, but we're gonna save all that footage for show day. So I'm about to watch the Cavs beat the Warriors in game four. I said that with confidence. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. It's probably a long one, so if you're still with me right now, sticking around, then I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your support this series, and we'll see you on show day. But I try, try not to need you like you need me. And I try, and I try not to need you like you need me. I'm sick and tired of living in LA.